So effective leaders, when working with their team members that need to establish new team, uh, looking at those three distinct characteristics, which is why the team is put together, what the team does, and the relationship of the team members, uh, traditional leadership or management skill sets would come in and we would say, here's what uh, the team needs to do, here's how the team's going to do it, and here's what the team should produce, and every step of the way you keep me in the loop and let me know what's going on, and if there's a problem, bring it to me and I will be the answer person, I'll fix the problem. Where in a high performance leadership model, we look at those three uh, characteristics of a team and we bring the team in and we say to the team, this is the core work that we need to accomplish. This is what we want to get done. Now let's look at the three elements. What is it that we need to, to do and, and set that charter? How are we going to uh, establish the outcomes and then what's the relationship going to be? And an effective leader empowers that team to come up with that operating system on their own with guidance from you so that they take ownership of that model and then you become a mentor and a coach and a role and a problem solver when needed, not necessarily the person that's there day to day managing step by step the process itself.